What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you replace your grill on your F-150. So this is the normal grill. I believe this is an upgraded grill, but still a normal grill on an F-150. So we have the Raptor style grill with the LED lights, wiring harness. We do have the letters to make it say what you want it to say, hence copyright reasons. But yes, just imagine it saying F there and R there and bada bing bada bang. You literally just replace those easy enough. But yeah, this looks so good guys. Let's go ahead and show you guys how you actually install it onto your F-150. All right guys, the next thing we're gonna end up needing to do is remove these screws right here. We have a couple um, that are just holding it on to the hood and we also have those two screws right there to hold on the bracket and two, uh, actually no, three screws on each side there. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws onto the front of the hood and about six screws holding it down to the actual face of the hood. So what I found out guys, you don't actually have to remove these three, you just have to remove the one that goes right over here. So uh, that one's one screw there, one screw on that side, and then all those ones that are on the hood, and this thing should literally just come on up. Basically to fully remove this thing guys once you take out all the screws in the back is you pretty much just have to pull up on it towards you What I found that was easier is that when this thing's actually closed down like this I pretty much just pulled out it. it did break some of the tabs here You will have to replace some of the tabs if I feel like if you have to put back the original one So just know that and also you're gonna have to take out these plastic pieces that broke off of your original grill If you guys broke them, I definitely broke mine. It is what it is not a big deal We can always get new tabs, but anywho, let's just go ahead and start bolting on our new one So guys in this grill you don't have to reuse any of your old hardware it actually comes a new hardware make sure you take off these nuts before you install them um, so then you can actually screw it back in once it's actually on the truck Now that we have the new grill in there, we pretty much have, have the bolts in there. We haven't tightened it just yet, mainly because uh, we actually need the bracket uh, that we can bolt this on to from our original grill. So uh, this bracket right here, we're gonna have to remove it and reuse it. Now that we have the bracket on the new grill, we just have to go ahead and bolt it onto this using the original hardware as well. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna have to take this out in the sun in a little bit, but that looks absolutely insane. This thing ain't moving nowhere. Once you tie up all the bolts and all the clips go in, this thing is in actually such good condition. Again, I'm sorry for the shade. Let's just go ahead and hook up the, the, the connectors right here for the lights. And we're going to show you guys how all this stuff actually works and how it's all connected. And even replace these guys in the end just to make sure everything is exactly the way we want it. So at this point, guys, we do have our three connectors that we're going to need to plug our harness into. And then we're going to try to route the wires in a very clean and orderly fashion. Probably to try to bring it down here in there somewhere and then try to get it to this headlight because we're going to be trying to tap it into the headlight bulb. So whenever these are on, the center lights are on and whenever these are off, those are off. If you connect it straight to your battery, these are going to be on 24 seven and they will drain your battery. So you do not connect it to your battery. I'll show you guys how pretty much that's set up. So this is the harness you guys pretty much get with your kit. Just connect these to all three of the bulbs up there. And then this pretty much just gets routed all the way to your headlight. And then it's easy peasy lemon breezy. Just a simple tap in. I'll show you guys how you do this as well. Very easy stuff here, but uh, let's just go ahead and connect these bad boys. Now that I have all the wires routed up there and I pretty much just have this one wire sticking out, all these three lights are connected. Let's just go ahead and try to route this in the best way possible while trying to conserve as much wire as possible. So by the time we get it down there and over here, um, we'll be able to easily connect this to our headlight. Now, fortunately with this harness, guys, you will not be able to just directly plug it into the headlight unless the wire looks like that. So we're gonna try to route it like this and just extend these two wires. So just go ahead and extend these two wires real quick and then go ahead and figure out the best routing process to this headlight right here. We do have our wires routed right down here. You could also take out this bolt and that bolt and just pretty much put them both down there where you can't even see it. I might actually do that later, but for now I got the wires in there. It's sticking out right here. I'm um, just gonna take out this headlight. Should be just one, two, and three bolts. You should be able to pull it out and then just tap it in. So let's just take out those three bolts and we should be in, uh, the, in ready, in, in ready position. All 
All right, guys, after messing around, I thought this was our turn signal, but this is the turn signal. So you want to tap into this one, not this one, because if you tap into this one and using this turn signal, these will also flash. But if you do this one, these won't flash. So you guys don't want to do that. What you want to end up doing is these ones, which I believe are staying on 24 seven. Um, as long as these are on, those will be on, which is proper. So this one actually is pretty easy. So going behind the headlight guys, this is the connector that connects directly to it guys. So what you have to do here, we're going to connect the black wire to this green wire and then the red wire from our harness to the yellow wire right here. So uh, these are our two wires that we pretty much extended. Make sure you go follow them back to make sure that this one is the black or this one is the red or vice versa. At this point, we do have our black tapped into our black and green and our red tapped into our yellow and green. So let's go ahead and just connect this back in here and just see if everything works. Once you've connected the wires, you can pretty much just go ahead and close this bad boy. Mm, that was looking good. And that, guys, is how you guys install the American Modified Raptor Grill. Obviously, guys, you guys can change out, change out the letters with the ones it comes with, but uh, that's just pretty much how you install it. Easy enough. <laughs> and just like that, guys, the grill is finally in the car looking so good. Let's go ahead and just swap out those letters because it says oomed. I wanted to say Ford. So three, two, one. Oof. <laughs> That looks, guys, I honestly didn't think I'm gonna love it so much. This looks so good. Guys, I wired this in perfectly because if you lock it, it goes away. When you unlock it, it comes back. That is so dope. Sheesh, guys, that looks so mean. Oh my God. If you guys do like the product, make sure to check out that first link down below. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.